All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to our AT app webinar here. If you've been following us, this is probably our getting close to our 40th app webinar that we've done. Um, today we're going to look at a tool called Brevity. Brevity can help struggling writers or it can help somebody with physical disabilities who might be slow typers. This is what the Brevity icon looks here looks like here. Um, I'm going to quote this. And don't quote me on it, but I believe it's a dollar in the app store. I don't think it's very expensive. Brevity is a um, it's a word prediction program, and, and it, when you think of it just as a word prediction program, it almost comes across as what makes this any different from anything else. Uh, it, it's very simple to use. There's not many options to it. If we look up top here, here's our gear for settings. If we tap on that, the settings are very simple. Uh, we've got you know add automatically add a space after the word that we choose. We've got the prediction font size, so we can make that bigger if somebody needs to be able to see it or target it. Uh, we make it, they struggle targeting it. We can make that large. Prediction transparency or the undo button, and then we can remove misspelled words. But basically, all that happens in here is you get your list of drafts over here. I haven't done anything in this yet, but then we come over and we type tap on our compose button up there, and we're going to get the area that we can compose in. When we start typing, it's going to guess what we're trying to type just like anything else. A downside to this, it doesn't have a reading function. So we can't tap and hold on these words and listen to what they are. So if we can't read those, we're not going to be able to figure out what's in this list. Um, what it does is it tries to guess based on, on combinations of letters, more or less. So if we didn't know uh, how to spell hello, but we knew it had an H, an L, and an O in it, if we went H, L, O, it's probably going to pop up to the top of the list, and there it did. So then I tap hello, and it replaces that in the document. Because I had practiced on this before we did this and wrote hello, it also remembers the frequency of things, the way you use things. So as soon as I hit H, that's going to pop up because I've done that before. So I, I just want to type something in and see if we can get this to save. We'll do my uh, MY and hit space. We didn't need to use anything here. But let's try name. Let's just put N, M, and, and names at the top uh, is, and then we'll put Jim. And I've used Jim already, so it pops up there so the frequency helps. I haven't plugged my last name in, so it's not going to pop up. But let's try and see if we can get it to remember my last name, W-I-A-K. Now if I go to another line and I type in Stahoviak, it should pop up at the top of the list. So there we go. So we have Stahoviak there. I can get that quickly because uh, it learns based on that. But I just want to—I want to continue to show you this idea of, of combinations of letters. Let's put in for today. Let's do T D, and then today pops up there. I don't have to go very far. Is uh, and then we'll try W. And I've already done all those. Let's so let's do tomorrow is Thursday. T uh, M R W, and tomorrow pops up on there. So we don't have to. No, all we don't have to know exactly how this is spelled. We have to know we have to know the first letter. The first letter is key. You do have to get the first letter correct, and then from there we should be able to um, just add combinations of letters that we know are in this. Let's try T H R S D, and Thursday is within that list at that point. So we can hit Thursday, and, and it comes up on there. So again, this this is going to work well for your student that maybe slow typers because of a physical disability. Uh, it, it can work well with your students that are bad spellers but could generally guess at the letters that are in the word but couldn't uh, and knew the first letter of the word. It's going to work for those kids as well. Uh, it's not going to work well for kids that need text read back out loud because there's not a, a read back function. Um, but in general, it's not a, it's not a bad app. Uh, if you look up here, it does have that uh, arrow coming out of the box. We tap on that. We can close and delete, close and save, top copy the text, send it as an email, or send it as a message also. Pretty simple tool. I believe, again, that it costs a uh, dollar in the App Store. Uh, maybe worth it for your kids that might be struggling with spelling uh, but can recognize words, or for those that, uh, that are slow typers. That's it for brevity. If you want to see more about this or see any of our other videos, you can download the iCater app, the iCater toolkit. It's free on the iTunes store and everything's archived down there as well as the tip of the day. If you have questions, you can email me at james-stachowiak at uiowa.edu.